Okay. And I love your mask. Well, Thank you. you. Are you going to take off your mask for me? Uh -huh. You're going to tilt your head back 10 seconds both sides of your nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. One more time. And we are done. Where did you get them, by Ooh, the way? Amazon. Did I just you? typed um, sparkly oh, <laughs> or, or glitter. Because I work at a children's hospital. Oh, how fun. Like, so cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Here we are. <laughs> Ooh. Jenny's avoiding filming because she's nervous about the bronchoscopy. Mm-hmm. How'd you know? Because well, we are here to get it. We are here at City of Hope to get my second bronchoscopy. This one oh, this will be kind of your third. Sure. <laughs> this one will be on my right lung. My right lung has not had anything like this, right? No. And we are looking for infection. I don't know. We're not really hoping for infection. We don't know what we want. Just we just want answers. Well, let's just get this over with. How about that? Yeah, That's how all about we that? Want. Let's get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> just move on. Chalk this up in the book as another procedure you've undergone, underwent. Yeah, whatever. And then move on. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you know, you think <laughs> the deeper into this journey, the like more comfortable you are with these procedures and stuff. Like, oh, I'm used to it. But no, I'm terrified. I don't want to go to it, and I just want to leave. <laughs> you have to be here for a while because they have to observe you before and after. So. Yeah. Mhm. Mm be good stuff. It'll be good. Quick. I think the procedure itself is thirty minutes. But I'm here for a few hours. Yeah. They said. How do you feel about it? Oh, this is scarring. This is... Why? Because the last time we came in, same idea. Huh? We're not really sure. Uh -huh. And then, oh, we found cancer. More cancer. Freak out. Everyone freak out. Yeah, I remember that. So I just don't want that. I and just... that's when it spread to the brain. Yeah. Well, so. hopefully it's not going to be that. And if it is, then we will get it. You know? We'll figure it out. We'll get it. Like... If it is that, then at least we found it. But I yeah. don't. I don't think it's that. I want to say I think it's the lung infection. So I've been on steroids for a year now, and when you're on steroids, you can get a lung infection. So they think I might have a lung infection. And the chemo. Yeah, and chemo can give a lung infection. Can give right? a lung infection. Can cause inflammation. Specifically the ones that you're on. I'm struggling right now with when I lean forward. I had this in January when they found the, the cancer, the more cancer. <laughs> but where I, I lean forward, I'm guessing it's the fluid in my lung. When I lean forward, it feels like I have pressure on my lungs. Like someone's sitting, an adult is sitting on my lungs but I'm leaning forward. It's really weird. Yeah. So I've been having that recently, so I'm hoping this will have some answers as to why I'm having that. I'm guessing it's the fluid, or if there's an infection, I don't really know. We will see. They did contemplate not doing this today, saying, eh, your oxygen's been okay, we might not even need to do it. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't hear anything, so we're here. So we're here. So I don't know. I forgot to mention that my last scan showed that I have a hernia, an umbilical hernia. So there's that as well. <laughs> Just keep it coming, Jan. Keep the, the surprises coming. I don't know what we're going to do about the umbilical hernia. I think it heals itself. It only bothers me sometimes. <clears throat> 
And then my pulmonologist had me working out five days a week and I found that that was causing more pain for me. It triggers my rib pain. So now I'm avoiding that. I don't know. I don't know. Cancer's no fun. All right, let's go into the bronchoscopy. We'll see what our cameraman, Gorgiano, will uh, put together. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. I miss the kids. I miss the kids. I told Ellis about the bronchoscopy and I explained the way they do it and he thought it sounded really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I said, eh. All right. What's up, TV? It's a TV. Wow. I delayed, so she gave me a TV to oh, okay. entertain myself. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm sleepy. Yeah. You could nap. Did you hear it's going to be a while? No. They said that there's a delay and there was a mix up in my time, so I'll probably be waiting for two hours. <laughs> so, I'm thinking, let's nap. You've got a nice chair over there. Perfect. Let's show everyone your cool chair. That's nice. And I've got a nice bed here. All right, let's do it. Or you can watch too, whatever you want. <laughs> I love you. Love you. <laughs> still here we're still in the waiting area for her bronchoscopy <laughs> it was supposed to be at 11 and then they said there was a mix-up so we've been waiting and it's, it's now 3 30 3 40 and we still haven't gone back yet so um yeah nothing yet just a whole bunch of this <laughs> sitting around Hopefully soon. All right, it is now 4.40 and I'm still waiting and I'm really hungry. So hungry. Me too. <laughs> Kyle didn't eat to be a supportive husband even though I told him to eat. And now he's hungry. <laughs> but when they, when they take me back, I told him to go to Starbucks and get himself a treat. <laughs> So it's now 5.30, almost, and she just got back. They said it's gonna be short, um, but it's kind of a struggle to wait that long. But here we are, and um, hopefully it goes smoothly, and we get out of here. I feel so bad for her for waiting around so long, but she's a trooper as always. Love you, babe. Okay. Um, it's been about a uh, half hour, maybe a little longer, 40 minutes. Feels like forever though, just waiting. Um, even though I know everything's going fine, um, it's just hard to be away from her for that long, but um, I know everything's going well and will be fine. Um, and then they said for us to have an appointment with this doctor who's performing this, um, in a week and then at that appointment they would let us know what's going on if anything um, in her right lung so um, oh I forgot why I wanted to talk but um, again I think I always say this but the the grace that you know Jenny has through all this 
um, always astonishes me, you know, because, you know, we were told to get here at 11 o'clock and we got here at 10.30 like we always do early, checked in, and they instantly started questioning Jenny like, why are you here? Who told you to get here right now? And <laughs> she's just being calm and peaceful and saying, that's what it said to in my chart um, online, which it did. And they're saying, well, you're early. This, you shouldn't have come this early. Okay, you're gonna have to wait. And I don't like when they make her feel like she made the mistake, she didn't do anything. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And then, um, you know, we sat around patiently um, all the way until 5.30 when they finally wheeled her back. Um, and everyone's apologizing, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, and Jenny just says, no problem, it's okay. And, um, I don't know, I just appreciate her so much and to see how much she goes through and for her to still have all this patience and kindness and everything, and she's just an amazing person, so I love her. But, just waiting around, um, she said she wanted me to film her uh, when she came out of anesthesia to kind of see if she says anything silly or funny. So I'm gonna film her when I walk in. Um, and hopefully everything's good. Well, change of plans again. <laughs> um, so they called and said everything went well um, and she's awake, but I can't go up there. <laughs> um, so they are gonna call me in 20, 30 minutes and they're gonna wheel her down and then we're good to go home, so. Um, Jenny won't get that footage that she wanted, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, so she should be back in the car soon, and we can go home now that it's almost 7. And our poor kids have been away from us all day, but thank you to, to Pops and Gammy for uh, taking care of, of them all day. And hopefully we see them soon, because we miss the heck out of them. And Jenny hasn't eaten or drank anything all day since 10 o'clock last night, and it's now seven o'clock today so hopefully we can get some food uh, something to drink um, so she can feel a little bit better all right i'm out of my bronchoscopy it went well it is now 7 22 so it's been a long day i had a numbing agent put in my throat so i'm not allowed to eat until 8 30 tonight so i'm hungry that's okay. You can cook for me, yeah. my sweetie. Yeah. Um, so now we're gonna go get the kids from my parents' house and go home. Yay! Go. Night, night, mommy. I love you guys. I love you when you give me a hug. I love you. Okay. Bye bye. I am home and I have my oxygen on. It's helping me feel like I'm getting a little more air, which is nice. The more I talk, the more I cough, and then it hurts, so I'm not gonna talk right now. I'm gonna rest, I'll probably go to bed. Thanks for all the love and support, you guys. Um, I'm so grateful for everyone saying prayers and sending their well wishes. It means so much to me. And thank you, Kyle, for being the best partner today. I love you so much. Bye.